friends! Today I want to talk to you about a whole heckin' ton of books that I have on my shelves that I'm not sure I want to read anymore. So as some of you may know, I have had a lot of books on my TBR shelf. At the beginning filming of this video, there's 117. And I I have a few that I have like kind of been holding on to wanting to maybe do a video for. I have some that are on my this book will self-destruct in 12 months. I have some that are just books that I don't think I would be interested in anymore. Um, things that I bought super cheap that I was like sure everybody on booktube's talking about this I might read it too. But that was like in 2017 and I'm not reading those same kind of books anymore. I'm reading more adult rom-coms, more mystery thriller, um, more high fantasy, trying to get into more adult high fantasy. Um, reading a lot of like YA spooky. So like these books don't necessarily fit what I'm reading anymore. Um, so what I want to do is do like a try a chapter for 10 books on my TBR. I don't know how long it's going to take me to uh, read all of these so I wanted to just go ahead and film an opening and um, go through the 10 books that we're going to talk about and then I probably will not read the first chapter of all of these today um, but we'll read them throughout the next couple of weeks and come back and update you on like if I like it if I don't like it and if I think I'm going to keep it and then we'll come back at the end and go through the whole list and let you know what I'm going to keep and maybe try to prioritize and what I'm going to get, let go. The first is The Star Touch Queen by Roshni Chakshi. This was released in 2017. I legitimately have no idea what this book is about. It's been on my shelf for five years. Um, I bought it because other people on booktube were talking about it and I was like sure why not? I think I found it for a few dollars. Um, let's see what it's about. Maya is cursed with a horoscope that promises a marriage of death and destruction. She has earned only the scorn and fear of her father's kingdom. Content to follow more scholarly pursuits, her whole world is torn apart when her father, the Raj, the Raja, arranges a wedding of political convenience to quell outside rebellions. Soon Maya becomes the queen of Akaran and wife of Amar. Neither role is what she expected as Acheron's queen. She finds her voice in power as Amar's wife. She finds something else entirely. Compassion, protection, desire. But Acheron has his own secrets. Thousands of locked doors, gardens of glass, and a tree that bears memories instead of fruit. Soon Maya suspects that her life is in danger. Yet who besides her husband can she trust? With the fate of the human and otherworldly realms hanging in the balance, Maya must unravel and ancient mystery that spans reincarnated lives to save those she loves the most including herself. I don't even know if this is something that I would read but you know apparently at one point in time I thought it would be so here we go. Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. This was published in 2012. I also have no idea what this book is about but it also doesn't have a, a blurb. It doesn't tell me what it's about. It's apparently so popular that they don't need to tell me what it's about other than in a world of danger, an unlikely alliance, breathtaking adventure, and unforgettable romance. In a world of danger, an unlikely alliance, breathtaking adventure, and unforgettable romance. That's not a sentence, but you can just go ahead and put that on the back of your book if you'd like. Uh, Under the Never Sky has sold into 26 countries and been optioned for film by Warner Brothers. Don't miss the stunning book trailer directed by Roman White, available on the Harper Teen YouTube channel. Still no clue what the book's about, so. Heartless by our friend Marissa Meyer. This was a 2016 release. I do know that this is like a Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland? retelling but also I know that I hate Alice in Wonderland and typically everything that has to do with it why did I buy this um, because I liked the Lunar Chronicles so I went ahead and purchased it um, also it was super cheap um, I've heard a lot of people that loved this I've heard a lot of people that a lot of people that didn't like it so I have no idea and I just bought it and was like sure it's cheap and I want to read it and it's been sitting on my shelves for five years next we have Spinning Silver by Naomi Novak. This was a book of the month 
pick way way back in the day when I was still getting book of the month. This is actually 2018 release so not quite as old. I also don't particularly know what this book is about but I do believe that it was like a Rumpelstiltskin retelling maybe. Um but anyway bought it thought I would like it. Have I read it? Obviously not or we wouldn't be here. Furthermore by Todd Amafi. So I bought this because it is a mid-grade. We all know that I have a mid-grade obsession and I don't know that I knew anything about it. I think it was also a like discount book that was only a few dollars. My issue is that I have read other things by Tahada Mafi and not enjoyed it and so I'm wondering if I'm going to like this. Love her. She's fantastic don't necessarily enjoy her writing style so but I've only read from one series so I don't know if this I'll like better because it's a different series so it might be a different voice it's a different age group I don't know but I figured throw it in with these make it an even 10 make it a fun day I also don't actually know what this one is about either there are only three things that matter to Alice Alexis Queensmeadow mother magic and color guys I think this is also an Alice in Wonderland retelling girl's name is Alice traveling into a mythical dangerous land to try to bring her father home. I may hate myself a lot for this. Okay. Uh, the next one is weird because it was already on a <laughs> try a chapter before. Uh, and that is Heirs of Fate by uh, Mara Luciano. I read this as part of a try a chapter video in the beginning of 2020 I think. I read the first 10 pages. I remembered none of it. Um, it's three short stories. I obviously didn't like it enough to continue reading but also have enough hope for it that I haven't gotten rid of it yet. So this is it. This is the time. Now is the time. This is also one of the ones that's on my uh, will self-destruct list. So Let's just get it over with, shall we? Also two books on my self-destruct list for this year were My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga and The Song Will Save My Life by Layla Sales. My Heart and Other Black Holes, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to um, read the first chapter. I have to see if I'm like in love with the writing style and then if not, yeet it into the ether because this book deals a lot with suicidal ideation. Um, it's a young girl and a boy who make a suicide pact on like some weird dark web website. I don't know that I'm emotionally prepared for that ever, um, but especially right now where I'm at in my life. So this just again may get yeeted into the stratosphere. And then This Song Will Save My Life by Layla Sales is like a romance, a, a YA romance with a like a, a singer in a band plot line. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, that. Next is The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan He. Um, I got this in an Alcrate box. It's not a book I would have picked up for myself. Um, I have since canceled Alcrate because that was kind of the case a lot of the times is it's books that I necessarily wouldn't read or pick up. I mean I guess I have heard some people have really enjoyed it but people who haven't liked it they haven't liked it because a lot of the writing style. So I guess I need to just read a couple chapters and see if I enjoy the writing style and if not get rid of it. And the last book is kind of a twofer. Um, I have The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. Now do I have the second book in the series? No, nor the third, no the, nor the fourth. But what I do have is The Darkest Legacy, which is like the next book in the next chapter. This guy right here is a signed copy, which is why I picked it up without having read this guy. So when I picked this up and when I had picked up the other book, I had never read Alexandra Bracken before. Again, I think she's fantastic. I love her. I follow her on social media. She's super nice. I love her and her pupper dog. And and so like, she's great. But I don't know if you guys were here last year for my most disappointing read of the year. It was Lore by Alexandra Bracken. So that has like put me on the edge of like not even wanting to pick this up. So I think I need to do try a chapter, read it, see if it, if it's even something that I'm interested in. All of these I may read more than a chapter of. I think this is probably going to be more like a 
one of the, I did a video previously where it was like reading books with a high probability of DNF and I think that's probably more of what this is. I'm definitely going to be trying at least a chapter of all these. Um, I may not read the whole book if I'm enjoying it. Um, which is a weird way to look at it. If I'm enjoying the book, if I'm like, yes, I'm for sure going to like this, I'm probably going to put it down and not read it. But if I'm like, I don't know how I feel, I'm probably going to keep reading until I decide how I feel. Which is a weird concept, because why would you keep reading books you don't like and not read books you do like? But honestly, I'm just trying to clear up some shelf space. So obviously, if I don't read this, I don't need this. So these are kind of a twofer. So those were the 10 books that I will be reading for this try chapter. Um, again, I probably won't start reading today, but I wanted to get this film so that we're ready. And I will see you guys whenever I have the first update for whatever the first book's going to be. Should I go alphabetical? Should I go with shortest? You know what I should start with? I should start with Heirs of Fate, which I've already read once or attempted to read once and probably will not like. So that'll be the, probably be the first one to find its way straight out the door. So that's probably what I'll do. We are going to kick off this try a chapter of 10 books. I don't even want to talk about how many days it's been since I filmed the beginning of this. Uh, but we're going to start with the book that I have already read once and that is Heirs of Fate by Amara Luciano. I guess I've already read the first chapter once. Um, so I'm going to read this and let you know my thoughts. And I think what I'm going to do is read through the first chapter of all 10 books and then at the end go over whether I decide to keep reading them or not. That way I have some time to like think about it. So I'm going to read the first chapter and let you know what I think. So I read the first 10 pages of this guy which is the first chapter. It doesn't actually have chapter because it's three short stories. They have just have like little sections that are chopped off. Um, but the first one was 10 pages. I remember like the open, like the very beginning, like the first couple of paragraphs from when I read it. I don't know, three years ago, but that's about it. I don't have a whole lot to say. I wasn't having a good time and I don't really have any interest to continue reading it, but I'll still think about it and let you know for sure when I'm, you know, done reading all of the books. Did I just go, what the hell, go ahead and read the first chapter of ne Under the Never Sky as well? I did. And I actually read the first two and a half-ish chapters. Because after the first chapter, I was like, I don't know, maybe, let me read chapter two. And after chapter two, I was like, I don't know, I'm still not sure, maybe. And so then I opened it up to chapter three and I went, okay. This is like a early 2000s, what year was this? this copywriting in. Oh. Oh. Okay, it was 2012. I was thinking this was more like 2004. Okay, uh, a 2012 sounds like a dystopian uh, where a girl lives in a bubble like a place where all of their food and everything is created for them and most of their life is like digital. They see everything through a glass on their eye and she joins up with a, they call them savages, which is unfortunate. Basically someone who doesn't live in the society that she lives in to try to find her mom who's missing. And just there was a lot happening in that first chapter. And then the second chapter got way worse. And then we got to the whole savage thing. And I just, you can probably guess where this one's going to end up in. So that was two books tonight. I think I'm going to be it because I've got plenty of other things to do. And I've just spent like an hour reading a couple of chapters of books. Probably going to be it for tonight. Um, but again, that just leaves us eight more books to go through, but whatever. It is the next day, and I'm going to read the first chapter of The Star Touch Queen by Roshni Chakshi and see how I feel about this guy. When was this one published? I have questions. 2017. Oh, no, wait. 2016? Okay, so this one I liked. I think... It did a really good job of like 
you know, pulling you in, making you interested. It's definitely not our world. Well, not, not the United States, at least. Um, <laughs> there's like enough story building that like I want to know more about the world. Um, I'm interested to know more about the character and I'm interested in like the whole like the what the horoscope has to do with her future. So this one pretty sure the end will be continuing this one. This one I liked. Since we read that one we might as well read a chapter of this guy. Uh, the Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. She a thick boy, so let's uh, read the first chapter of this. Okay, so I read the first chapter of The Darkest Minds and I actually really liked it. I don't want to say I'm surprised, but I'm kind of surprised. Uh, mostly because I have read, I can see it, the cover, Medusa retelling thing. I can't even think what it is anymore. And I really didn't like it and I didn't like the writing part of it. And so the fact that I enjoyed the writing so much in this to me was surprising. Um, so I probably will continue on with this one as well, but I will make the final decision at the end. But those are going to be my two for today. I'll do two more tomorrow, but uh, so far today's two were much better than yesterday's two. So no complaints on my end. Okay, the next book that I'm going to pick up and try is The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan Yee. And uh, I'll let you know how I feel about it when I'm done. We have our first casualty. I didn't even finish the first chapter. Um, this writing is not for me. So, no, thank you. Um, but the first chapter, I think, is 10 pages. And I made it to chapter 8 and was just like, you know, not feeling it. So, I guess that means the next one we're going to pick up is... This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales. Um, it's been like three minutes. So this book, the first chapter is 22 pages. I'm on page six. We're absolutely keeping this. I'm in love already. Totally in love. Don't even remember what this book is about because it's been like two months since I read the description. But yes, she stays. On to my heart and other black holes. This one's probably going to go. Just so we're all clear. So I think we talked a little bit about how like I bought this book based off of the title without reading the description. I read the first chapter and I liked it but I know that like I'm not emotionally stable enough to read something like this. Um, I did read the last couple of chapters um, to see like kind of where things ended up at and I think that Overall, it probably would have been okay, but I think dealing with a lot of the trauma and things that the characters went through in the middle chunk of the book would not be conducive to my own mental health. Um, so I am definitely not going to read this one, but I don't think it's bad, if that makes sense. I have three more books to read. I think I'm going to go ahead and read those three, um, and then I'll come back and... We'll just go over everything together instead of me doing like these little clips. I'll just read the final three and then we'll be back and we'll talk about all of them. Okay, we're back. Everything's read. Let's go through it. Completely sure on these. I sat, I thought about it. I looked kind of like, you know, what do I want for a story? Things that I, books that I wasn't completely sure on. I looked at some reviews for to see if I thought it was maybe something that I would like. Um, and I'm also setting myself a little bit of a challenge. So of the books that I'm keeping, which we'll talk about those momentarily, um, I'm giving myself a 12 month deadline on. Um, if you see my video from earlier this year, which I will link down below, I'm doing a, um, these books will self destruct in 12 months where if I don't, if I haven't have read those books in 12 months, which is basically the year because I think I did that at the beginning of January um, then I would unhaul them. So some of the books that I read for this were part of that but what I'm going to do for the books that I've read and I know that they're books that I actually want to read um, because I enjoyed the first chapter I am going to give myself a 12 month limit on those because 
I have done this in the past where I've read a first chapter and been like, yeah, I'm interested. But then, you know, it's been three years and I still haven't picked it up yet. So how interested am I really? Um, so these will all be getting a like post-it note of you need to read these by this date and I'll also make a note in my reading planner, obviously. Um, so let's talk about the books that I'm keeping. I will be keeping This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales. Um, this is the one that I had read like a few pages of the first chapter. I didn't even read the whole first chapter. Um, and the main character just really resonated with me right off the bat. So this guy, she's staying. This one's kind of a twofer. I am keeping The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. I did really enjoy the first chapter of this. I liked the writing and I was intrigued by the story and I do want to know more. And since I'm keeping that, I will also be keeping The Darkest Legacy, which, you know, I bought only because it's a signed copy and had not bought, you know, all of the books in the rest of the series. So keeping this, keeping that, because I may enjoy the series and end up getting to that someday. So um, these guys both stay. Uh, another one that we already talked about, The Star Touched Queen by Roshni Chakshi. This is probably, of the ones that I'm keeping, the one I'm least confident on. Um, but I did like the writing and I liked the story, the world building of what we got in the first chapter. The other that I will be keeping is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I read actually the first two chapters of this. The second chapter was the second point of view. Um, so I went ahead and read the second chapter as well. And I really liked the writing style. Of this. I felt like it was very easy to read. I didn't feel like I was being like bogged down with words I didn't understand. Sometimes in fantasy worlds they just like keep throwing words at you and I'm like I have no clue what these words mean. Um, but I liked this. I liked the way that the story was progressing. I was interested in the backstory and I'm interested to see like what goes on. I know there's probably, I know there's a third character. I don't know if there's a third point of view. I didn't move on to the third chapter. Um, but I was really enjoying this. So definitely keeping this one as well. And those are actually the end of the ones that I will be keeping. The rest are going. The Ones Women's a Find by Joan He. I read the first chapter, didn't even finish the first chapter, and just, I know this is not a book for me. I know I'm not going to enjoy it, so she can go. We already talked about My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga again. Um, I didn't dislike this. I'm just not in the right emotional state or mental state to read this, and I don't think it's something that I will ever be in the right mental state to read because I deal with depression, anxiety, suicidal ideation, so this is not a book for me. Under the Never Sky, again, we discussed, not interested. Heirs of Fate, my, this is the second or third time I've put this on one of these tags, and clearly I haven't finished it yet, and it's been three years. She can go. A new one, furthermore, like to Hadamafi. I didn't like it. First off, I'm pretty sure it's an Alice in Wonderland retelling, which I'm not a fan of. I just didn't like the writing style. Um, Tehera is one of those people that, like, sometimes I like her writing, sometimes I don't. Um, and this felt very clunky to me for a mid-grade, which I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure this is a mid-grade. I don't know. The words just felt clunky. It was hard to keep to read for me. I struggled with like some of the word meanings. I didn't know what some of the words meant. And that's weird for me in a book that I thought was going to be like cute and fun. So. And finally on the list of things that shall be going out my door is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I read the first chapter of this it's not my jam. Again, Alice in Wonderland retelling. Technically, this is a story of the Red Queen and how she came to be. And my battery died, so forgive me if you're at a different angle or location than what you were before. Uh, anyway, Heartless. The first chapter is literally just like her making like a lemon tart or something. And I just was not having a good time. I was not interested. Um, it was not reading as something I would like to read. I do like Marissa Meyer. I did enjoy the Lunar Chronicles, um, but this just wasn't working for me. So that means out of the 10 books that I read, I will be keeping four and I will be unhauling six and the four that I am keeping. Um, actually of the four that I'm keeping, one of them, which is um, This Song Will Save Your Life is actually on already on my This Book Will Self-Destruct list. So this one will only have the six months um well five months to where we are now in the year because it's July who knew um and these three Star Touch Queen, Spinning Silver, and 
the Darkest Minds will have until next summer. If they've not been read by next summer, they can go. The others are just going. So let me know in the comments below if you have read any of these, what your thoughts, feelings are, if any of these surprised you by me not being interested or me being interested. Um, I feel like if you've been here a while, you should like have a good idea of my reading preferences at this point, which are typically just the opposite of everyone else. Let me know what you thought down below. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.